Kawhi Club January Painted Emoji Snowman Wood Slice. Hi everyone. Today we're going to paint a wood slice as a snowman emoji shape, face. Just like this. Um, you can paint whatever kind of emoji design you like. Um, in your kit, you're going to find a plain wood slice, some red and white string, a foam brush, some white paint in a little container, an orange paint pen, and a black paint pen. All right, we're going to start off with the white paint. Um, you're going to put some a little bit down on a paper plate or some other protective surface, or you can just dip it straight out of your pot. And I find it easiest to kind of follow the tree rings on my wood slice and just kind of go around and around in a circle. The tree rings make a nice guide. You can make it as wide as you want, as white as you want. Um, two coats generally looks really good. Um, I'm kind of doing a dip and swish kind of method, turning it around, following the tree rings, making sure I've got good coverage. It's almost like icing a cake a little bit in this one. And you're welcome to do both sides, but just make sure that you have your paint dry before you work on the other side. One handy dandy tip I've learned from working with these wood slices is you want to keep it away from sunlight because it will crack the wood as it dries out. And it's been very dry around central Texas lately, so try and keep it in a fairly humid environment to keep it from drying out too much because it will crack. Just a little bit more here, making sure it's covered all the way. And you're going to want to let your white paint layer dry completely before you paint your face. All right, that looks pretty good. And we'll let it dry. All right, it's more or less dried and I can touch it and not have my hand come away with paint. Again, you can see, you can draw whatever kind of face you want. Uh, I'm starting with the black. You may need to uh, shake your pen really well and you may need to press it down on the surface to start it to get it going like that. This paint pen had been used before, so it's already started. So I'm gonna dry a kind of a happy, squinched-eyed, smiley face. And this paint pen's kind of running a little dry, so I may need to go over it later with a different one. If your paint pen's acting up, you might want to pump it, uh, the, the not tip of it a few times against your paper plate. Now I'm going to use my orange, draw my carrot nose. Again, making sure the paint's flowing freely. Do a little triangle, I'm making a little nose this time. There's my happy snowman. Add a little bit more black in here. As I said, this paint marker is starting to run out because we've used it a number of times here. But yours are fresh, so um, you should have plenty. Just make sure that your white paint is dry before you use your black and your uh, orange so that it doesn't smudge or smear. And you can string it up and hang it up 
if you want to paint the back, you can. There you go. I hope you enjoy your craft today. Bye, friends. Oh, make sure to keep it out of the sun because that's the kind of crack that can happen.